Assalamualaikum and hi. So this is the frequency response design for lead compensator part 1. The objective of using the lead compensator is to increase the phase margin to reduce the percent overshoot. And the second one is to increase the gain crossover frequency to realize a faster transient response to make the response faster compared to the uncompensated system. So this is the plot for uncompensated system and the compensated system using lead compensator. This is the magnitude plot and this is the phase plot. Okay, for magnitude, the dark green is compensated, the black one is uncompensated. We can notice that the gain crossover frequency, omega G C O, A is for uncompensated, C is for compensated system, is increased from A to C, meaning that the compensated system has higher gain crossover frequency compared to uncompensated system, compared between point A and point C. So this one is higher frequency compared to this one. For phase, okay, for uncompensated system is the black one. The compensated system is the dark green. For compensated system, it has larger phase margin, PMD at point D. Okay, the phase margin is calculated between D point and negative 180 degree. Compact with uncompensated system between point B and negative 180 degree. So the phase margin for compensated system is higher, is larger compared to uncompensated system. At this one, the higher or the larger phase margin for the compensated system produce higher gain crossover frequency and also has higher or larger bandwidth while for uncompensated system it has smaller phase margin at low phase margin frequency at this point okay for this one phase angle plot is raised for higher frequency this one it was raised to the higher frequency compared to uncompensated system so there are a few steps in design the procedure for lead compensator system. We continue step one in the next video. Thank you.